Hey guys, coming to you on a Saturday morning. I checked the temperature, said 35. I am not a fan of anything under 70, but keeping me out inside is not fun. I gotta sit down for a second here. I'm gonna just like sit and bask and love in my space that I've created back here. It's supposed to be like 40 today, so get outside and enjoy it. I think the cold weather is actually really close to being done and I cannot be more excited about that. I absolutely just love sitting down here. If you guys ever want to have coffee and practice some distancing, I want to show you this. Like we can totally hang out down here anytime. We can have meetings down here. I can't turn it around. Let's do this. Um, welcome to my space. Uh, there are birds all over the place. <laughs> um, I have redeveloped this space over the last five years. Check these out. These are my rain barrels. And the cat back there. He just roams everywhere. So, today I'm going to start doing some garden planting. You guys see this space over here? If you haven't checked out my YouTube channel. Ten years ago, I was faced with with um, being unemployed, getting laid off, and gardening is what I turned to. Um, and this is what I have going on so far. I didn't really know a whole lot about gardening. My great-grandmother um, was the one that really introduced me to it. Um, my dad's mom, my grandmother, but not on the same side of the family. She also kept me into it. And then my mom's mom, she did too. She uh, made sure and taught me some stuff. My mom's dad, my grandpa. <laughs> He's the first one that showed me how to um, clean a snapping turtle in my life. It's kind of interesting. Um, but when I got laid off for the very first time in my life, I really didn't know how to deal with it. I can promise you that I sat there for days and days, weeks, maybe months, um, struggling to understand like how I was going to get through life. The second time I was laid off, um, I actually did not have a backup plan. I didn't have any idea what I was going to do. And those days were not days, they were months. It sucked. I went to Google and I basked in my ideas. I basked in my priorities in life. And I decided that I needed to do some researching and gardening. I really wish that I would have spent more time with my grandparents learning how to do this and having the memories to share with them. But I already had some memories, so it didn't really matter that I didn't learn this from them. It's the fact that I had a little bit of memories and they were the encouragement to understand what I needed to do. This is the one thing that I can fall back on and not care about anything else that's going on in life. Um, jobs, my business, my partner's business, um, my family, the fact that I live a five hour drive away from them. Um, I only go visit them two to three times a year. Uh, so we have to find creative ways. My creative way is gardening. So this is where we're at in the garden. A couple weeks ago, I came in here and uh, turned some soil. I mean, I knew it was going to rain and uh, rain and soil. My nose is dripping like crazy. Um, when you have rain coming, 
you want your soil to be on top of anything that you put in there. Um, so that way it can kind of start to help like the breakdown process. Composting is really important uh, to support a garden. Um, I've been doing some some networking with some farmers, farmers in, in multiple capacities, in organic farms, in um, high yield farms, large amount of acreages, and they are going to no-till, meaning that they aren't getting rid of things or leaving it in there, planting it on top, and they're using the leftover matter to compost into the ground. They're adding less chemicals and more additives, nutrients and additives to the soil to kind of help maintain that, but not uh, promote erosion. The more that you till things, the more that like it goes away. And we wanna make sure that we promote soil from staying there or to stay there. Um, so it's really important that we um, add things to our soil. Last year, I made the decision you see a difference here. You see that's kind of turned and this is not. Like this space right here is all wood chips. Wood chips are not, <laughs> they are not at all good for soil. Um, but I made a choice. Gardening is more important um, to me and my own mental health because it gets me through every single day. And I walked down here last year and we had a ton of spring rain. And when I stepped in, right there. I almost lost my boot. I sunk into the ground. So I came down here, I dropped a whole wheelbarrow of wood chips and I stomped it down, stomped it. So right here in this one step is literally wheelbarrow of wood chips. If you can't believe that, like every step, wheelbarrow, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. <laughs> I mean, how many steps is that? Is that like, we'll say 12? I have one row right there. That is way more than this width. That is twice as wide. So yes, each, each width. So 12, we got one, two, three aisles. There's four aisles. This one did not get any because I planted everything over here first and then it rained. I was not even able to get over here. So let's go back. One, two, three, four aisles times 12. That's almost 50 wheelbarrows. I promise you that I probably did almost 100 because this space over here is actually double. Um, I'm, I will not ever uh, do anything with this. The depth here was uh, intentionally to kill things. And the deeper that you leave the wood chips, the more that you can kill things. But you can see like this is all, this is not even wood chipped at all. I just did board planks, I don't care. I ran out of wood chips um, in time, even with the four or five loads that we got last year. <laughs> so today I am going to go and get seeds. I'm going to go get carrot seeds. I'm going to go get radish seeds. Um, I think I have some, a few other things on my list. Um, and I'm going to show you how I plant my carrots and radishes. And I do it like super easy. It'll probably take me less than five minutes. Um, I will probably do a time lapse video. So it just goes really quickly and you don't have to listen to me talk. And anyways, if you have any questions, I might have some answers. I'm not gonna say I'm the expert. It's just a hobby. Something to kind of keep me going through the day. And I wanted to share it with you. You gave me the letter. I guess it was July. You said we'll be better. But I don't know. Be so lonely when I close my eyes. Imagined you're mine.
Sometimes I feel tired of my heavy thoughts. It's like start a fire when we're on the boat, and I'm on my. Thanks for checking out Deluxe Solutions at Home. Don't forget to like and share the video.